On today's Blue Peter, which UK roller coaster will give me the biggest thrill? Now, if you were watching yesterday, you'd see Helen, me and Joel scream, laugh, drink and spin our way through a series of tests under the watchful eye of thrill engineer Brendan. What a weird guy. A weird but nice. Yeah, he was You must nice. have thought he was nice because he picked this guy. Brendan was looking for one of us to test some of the country's top roller coasters and yeah, that's right, he got that the was gig. Me. Right then, Andy, I hope you enjoyed your starter, because now it's time for your main course. Mm -hmm. Bring it on, what are you doing? I've chosen three of the most extreme rides in Britain, and I'm going to be doing scientific tests to find out which ride, for you, yeah. is the most thrilling. Sounds good. Well, first up, it's that. Colossus. A monster of the roller coaster big league. Ten loops. A quadruple corkscrew. This bad boy eats other roller coasters for breakfast. Come on, Colossus, let's see what you got. So we're going to start off by putting two sensors across this muscle group here, which is called the corrugator supercilii, which is actually your frown muscle. And then I'm going to be putting two sensors on your face around the cheeks here, which is called the zycoticus major. Zycoticus major. Which is actually the smile muscle. <laughs> so I can tell whether you're actually liking something. Okay. Next, I had a heart rate monitor fitted and a sweat sensor. And what happens as your body becomes excited or frightened, the pores in your skin open up and start releasing sweat. So the final bit of kit we're going to be putting on is this helmet cam, which is actually going to be monitoring your facial expressions. So it's just going to con confirm what these sensors are showing us mm -hmm. and just to make sure you're not actually lying or faking any of your emotions. <laughs> How's that? Is that on straight? Yeah, mate, this is the weirdest piece of kit I've ever put on for anything. I'm intrigued to see the results of this and actually see if any of this works. Brendan has been perfecting his thrill theory for years and was confident that this test will reveal which of the three roller coasters I will find the most thrilling. Andy's heartbeat is represented by the red graph you can see scrolling across the screen. The brown box is related to Andy's sweat levels. Now, when the box turns bright orange, that means that Andy's fingers are producing more sweat and he's getting ready for action. The red and green power bars are showing us the activity in the muscles on Andy's face. The red power bar is going to show us when Andy's actually going to be smiling. And if Andy actually starts frowning, we're going to see the green power bar shoot up. So we can see Andy's heart rate now. It's starting to increase gradually, so he's obviously anticipating what the ride that's about to happen. See those peaks on the, the heart rate start squashing together. And that orange box is starting to glow bright orange, so his stress levels are increasing. All right, we've reached the top of the hill. Feeling good. Right. Here we go. So actually, his stress levels are quite high. He's dropping through the first turn. <laughs> Those excite and fight scores are really shooting up together. Going through those famous Colossus inline twists, and he's actually frightened by these. I mean, that's quite amazing. And those excite levels are bouncing around, those scores are still quite high, but he's looking like he's probably more scared by this ride at the moment. That was good. The little corkscrew bit, superb. You can see the excitement and fright both getting really high scores. So we could see a kind of mixed emotions going on all through the ride. And this makes for some really interesting data for our research. For the next ride, Andy, we're leaving Thorpe Park. We're heading to the seaside. For Rage. A 97 degree beyond vertical first drop. This is Rage, Adventure Island's mega ride on the Essex coast, designed to thrill superheroes. 
Oh, man, I love being by the seaside. It's such a sports ball. Come on. Roller coaster number two. Oh. Here we go. And I always get a bit weirded out by small roller coasters because you don't think that'd be scary, but there's a bit of a drop on this one. And his heart rate's probably starting to increase. Yes, we can see it increasing now as he's anticipating the ride that's about to happen. Oh. Almost fully vertical. Wow. And his levels of excitement as well have started going up. But also, he's becoming a little bit scared as well. So it must be this steep incline. It's going to drop pretty quickly up the hard So as he starts topping out, he can't see the track below him. His excitement levels are shooting up. And now he's plunging out the 97 degree drop. <laughs> But Andy's loving it. Straight into the first roll. Oh, oh, no. A little bit scared there on that corner going into that first steep curve. Oh, such a kicker. That is really nice. The nice little ball. This is just... <laughs> yes, Oh man. Oh, the eyes have gone. That is nice. As we're coming back in now to the loading bay, you can see his levels of stress, his sweat levels are still incredibly high. He's still very excited. That is really good. And he absolutely loved this ride. It's not bad on it, Brennan. Yeah, it's all right. So compared to Colossus, Andy found Rage much less scary all the way through. But the most significant thing you could see in the data was his levels of excitement were really intense right through the ride. For my last ride, Brendan took me up north to Flamingo Land. <laughs> Suspended 35 metres in the air. Nothing between you and the ground. The flying coaster Kamali is the pride of Flamingo Land. Come on, Kamali. Let's see what you've got. Come on, big boy. Let's do it. So Andy's really picking up speed here, plummeting towards the ground. His levels of excitement and fright are really shooting up. And he's started to show some levels of stress, but nothing like we've seen in past rides. Now through his first barrel roll, again, mixed excitement and fright. So it's definitely not the most stressed we've seen Andy on any of the rides. It didn't seem intense, it was quite a sort of gentle roll around. So Andy really enjoyed this ride, but it'd be interesting to see what he makes of it compared to the other rides. So Andy, how did you enjoy being my roller coaster guinea pig? Uh, that, that's a funny way of putting it, but I, I really enjoyed it. Three different rides, and I like them for all different reasons. Absolutely exhilarating. I've been collecting all your scientific data. I've come up with a score for how excited you've been, come up with a score for how frightened you've been uh -huh. on each ride. I've put those scores together, and I've come up with a thrill factor. But I can't tell you now. You've got to wait until you're back in the studio. Oh, man, you can't do that to me. You really... <laughs> Come on, give it us. No, no, Come on, no, 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 no. Give it us. <laughs> I was jealous that you got to go on all the rides. Yeah. I was not jealous of that snotty nose. I mean, what was that about? What are you on about? I can't see you getting your snotty nose, snotty nose out for the cause. That was purely for the cause. I'm a soldier, mate. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> right, which of the rides was most thrilling for you? For me, I'd probably say Rage. Rage. Okay, well, I have got the results here, and scientifically, okay. the ride that was proven to be most thrilling for you, if I can get it out of the envelope, someone's stuck in there. I give you that build up. Is. What is it? Rage. Yes! Ooh. Do you know why? It's because it was just that vertical drop at the yeah. top. It was just brilliant, and it wasn't so much scary, it just really hit all the right spots. <laughs>